أهلا بكم في الجزء التاسع عشر من قصة Animal Farm None of the animals on the farm could get further than the letter E, A. It was also found that the stupider animals such as the sheep, hens and ducks were unable to learn the seven commandments by heart. لا أحد من الحيوانات في المزرعة on the farm, farm المزرعة استطاع أن يتعلم أكثر من حرف A يعني أن يتجاوز الحرف A to get further to get further يعني يتجاوز It was also found that the stupider animals وقد تبين كذلك بأن الحيوانات الأكثر غباء stupider animals مثل الأغنام sheep والدجاج hens والبط ducks كانوا, كانوا غير قادرين على تعلم الوصايا السبع عن ظهر القلب were unable to learn the seven commandments by heart after much thought snowball declared that the seven commandments could in effect be reduced to a single maxim namely four legs good two legs bad وبعد تفكير كثير صرح سنوبول declared بأن الوصايا السبع يمكن في الواقع في الحقيقة أن تختصر إلى مبدأ واحد وهو أربعة سيقان جيد ساقين فقط سيء يعني كل ما لديه أربع سيقان هو جيد كل ما لديه ساقين والمقصود به الإنسان هو سيء After much thought Snowball declared that the seven commandments could in effect be reduced to a single maxim, namely four legs good, two legs bad. This, he said, contained the essential principle of animalism. وقال بأن هذا يحتوي على المبدأ الجوهري للأنيماليزم. He said contained the essential principle of animalism. Whoever had thoroughly grasped it would be safe from human influences. وكل من فهمه جيدا أو كاملا سيكون آمنا من تأثيرات البشر. Whoever had thoroughly grasped it would be safe from human influences. Whoever, كل كل من, whoever had thoroughly grasped it would be safe from human influences. The birds at first objected, since it seemed to them that they also had two legs. But Snowball proved to them that this was not so. لكن في البداية, at first, اعترضت الطيور. The birds objected. Objected يعني اعترض. لأنه بدا لهم بأنهم يمتلكون فقط ساقين. لكن سنوبول أكد لهم أو برهن لهم بأن ذلك ليس صحيحا بروف بروف يؤكد يبرهن The birds at first objected since هنا since تعني لأن since it seemed to them لأنه بدا لهم since it seemed to them that they also had two legs But Snowball proved to them that this was not so. أكد لهم بأن هذا ليس كذلك. That أنه this was not so. يعني هذا الأمر this هذا ليس كذلك. Was not so. So يعني كذلك. So a bird's wing, comrades, he said, is an organ of propulsion and not Of manipulation, it should therefore be regarded as a leg. The distinguishing mark of man is the hand, the instrument with which he does all his mischief. وهنا قال سنوبول أيها الرفاق comrades جناح الطائر هو عضو للدفع وليس عضو للتحكم أو التلاعب. فبروبولشن هو الدفع بروبولشن بروبولشن 
مانيبيليشن يعني التلاعب او يعني عندما تاخذ شيئا بيدك وتتحكم به والتحكم بالادوات باليد هذا يسمى مانيبيليشن وقد جاءت من مان التي تعني اليد في اللغه الفرنسيه نقول لما اليد من هنا جاءت هذه الكلمه التحكم بالاشياء بيدك وتعني كذلك التلاعب بمعناها الشامل مانيبيليشن فقال بأن جناح الطائر هو أداة عضو للدفع أورجن عضو وليس للتلاعب والتحكم بالأشياء. A bird's wing, comrade, he said, is an organ of propulsion and not of manipulation. ولهذا يجب اعتباره على أنه ساق. It should therefore be regarded as a leg. هنا therefore لذلك. It should therefore be regarded as a leg. The distinguishing mark of man is the hand. العلامة المميزة للإنسان هي اليد. الأداة التي يقوم التي يستخدمها في الأذى التي يقوم بها بأذاه كله. The instrument with which he does all his mischief. Mischief الأذى. The distinguishing mark of man is the hand, the instrument with which he does all his mischief. The birds did not understand Snowball's long words, but they accepted his explanation, and all the humbler animals set to work to learn the new maxim by heart. الطيور لم تفهم كلمات سنوبول الطويلة لكنها وقفت على أو قبلت تفسيراته. Explanation. أما الحيوانات الأكثر تواضعاً هامبلر وهنا المقصود بالتواضع يعني أقل فهماً بدأوا في العمل على تعلم المبدأ الجديد عن ظهر القلب. Set to work to learn the new maxim by heart. Four legs good, two legs bad. Was inscribed on the end wall of the barn, above the seven commandments, and in bigger letters. When they had once got it by heart, the sheep developed a great liking for this maxim, and often, as they lay in the field, they would all start bleating, "Four legs good, two legs bad. Four legs good, two legs bad," and keep it up for hours on end. Never growing tired of it. When I entered, I wrote this maxim or the rule. Maxim. I wrote it on the shelf, and it was popular. The sheep developed a great liking for this maxim. It was popular. And when they were lying in the field, as they lay in the field, they began to say this rule. ويستمرون في ذلك لساعات ولا يتعبون أبدا and keep it up for hours on end never growing tired of it and keeping it up for hours on end never growing tired of it يعني لا يتعبون أبدا منها Snow, uh, Napoleon took no interest in snowballs committees أما نابوليون فلم يكن يهتم بمجالس سنوبول Committees, مجالس. He said that the education of the young was more important than anything that could be done for those who were already grown up. وقال بأن تعليم الصغار كان أهم من أي شيء يمكن القيام به لهؤلاء الذين كبروا أو سبق أن كبروا. He said that the education of the young was more important. Than anything that could be done for those who were already grown up. It happened that Jesse and Bluebell had both whelped soon after the hay harvest, giving birth between them to nine sturdy puppies. وحدث أن جيسي وبلوبيل وهما كلبتان ولدتا بعد بعد الحصاد. Soon after the hay harvest, يعني بعد حصاد القش، وولدتا كليهما تسعة 
جراء قوية بابيز يعني كلاب صغيرة ستادي قوي It happened that Jesse and Bluebell had both whelped soon after the hay harvest, giving birth between them to nine sturdy puppies. As soon as they were weaned, Napoleon took them away from their mothers, saying that he would make himself responsible for their education. وما أن تم فطمهم ويند فطم يعني التوقف عن إعطاء إرضاع الجرو أو إرضاع أي كائن وين توقف عن الإرضاع يعني ما أنت ما توقف عن إرضاعهم أخذهما نابوليون بعيدا عن أميهما قائلا بأنه سيكون مسؤولا عن تعليمهما saying that he would make himself responsible for their education he took them up into a loft which could only be reached by a ladder from the harness room and there kept them in such seclusion that the rest of the farm soon forgot their existence. وأخذهم إلى غرفة في الأعلى loft تعني غرفة في في الدور العلوي للمنزل أو للبيت. He took them up into a loft والتي لا يمكن الوصول إليها إلا عن طريق سلم لادا لادا وأبقاهم هناك في عزلة seclusion seclusion عزلة بحيث أن البقية نسوهم يعني الجميع جميع من في المزرعة نسي وجودهم وجود تلك الكلاب He took them up into a loft which could only be reached by a ladder from the harness room and there kept them in such seclusion that the rest of the farm soon forgot their existence شكرا على المتابعة وسنتابع القصة فيما بعد إلى اللقاء